I'm going to describe a very simple hand-powered generator that you can use for powering a radio or even charging a mobile phone. So Michael Faraday, way back in 1830, discovered a link between electricity, magnetism and wire. And you can demonstrate Faraday's wonderful invention or discovery with this very simple apparatus. This is a, a plastic uh, container with lots of turns of wire on it connected to a little LED light. And I've got a very strong magnet from eBay. This is about one Tesla. Magnet the magnetic strength on the surface is what we call one Tesla. If I put the magnet inside, not much happens. But Faraday discovered that uh, you can induce electricity into the coil of wire when you move the magnet in and out of the coil of wire. So if I shake that, you can see that the light lights beautifully. So this is a very simple way of making electricity, but this is basically how every electrical generator works. You're moving magnets in coils of wire. Now the voltage generated by this simple generator, uh, the voltage is equal to the number of turns of wire, the area of the coil, the strength of the magnet, and the rate at which you can move the magnet. So for this simple generator, we can make a voltage of about 3 volts, which is enough to light the LED. So uh, as you can see on your screen now, the formula, the voltage, is equal to the number of turns of wire, the area of the coil, the strength of the magnet, and the rate at which you can move the magnet within the coil. And that's Faraday's law of induction, and it's the way we make electricity. So this is an example of our hand-powered generator. We've got two magnets here on an axle connected to a small pulley and that's connected via an elastic band to a large pulley which is connected to the handle. So obviously as I turn the handle because of the pulleys these magnets spin round beautifully. And if you remember the voltage generated in the coil is dependent on the speed, the rate at which you can move the magnets. Actually the rate at which the magnetic field changes. And so this, because of the step up in, in the pulleys, the magnets spin very fast and that generates a nice voltage in the coil. Now you can see I've connected up here to a little meter. What's interesting is as the magnets turn round, you see that it generates a voltage on the meter, but the voltage is alternating. It's plus one minute, negative the next, plus one minute, negative the next. And that mirrors the motion of the magnets. As the north pole sweeps past the coil, it produces one pulse. As the south pole sweeps past the coil, it produces the opposite pulse. So this is an example of what's called an AC, alternating current or alternating voltage generator. So our simple little hand crank generator will generate a nice AC voltage. But unfortunately, AC is not suitable for powering radios or charging a mobile phone. We need to convert the AC into DC. And some generators or dynamos have a simple switch that's connected to the axle where the magnets are. And as the magnets spin, the switch switches the polarity of the coil and converts the AC into DC. But there's actually a way we can do it electronically so that we don't need any moving switches. It's a circuit that uses diodes. It's called a bridge rectifier circuit. In fact, I'm going to show you the circuit right now. The arrow type symbols are the four diodes. And they're wired up in such a way that when you put the AC into this bridge configuration of diodes, it converts the AC into DC. And that's sent to a capacitor. And the capacitor smooths the voltage. And you can see also there's a resistor and a little LED, which I've got on the circuit on the table here. And then that voltage then goes to whatever you want to power, be it the radio, the mobile phone, or for charging batteries. So in summary then, I've got a pulley here, which is made out of some scrap wood. Uh, I've got a little tiny pulley here, which is made out of bottle tops. I've got some strong magnets. These are called rare earth magnets. They're about one Tesla strength on the surface of the magnets. I've got a thousand turns of wire and then a very simple little diode circuit. That will produce about five volts of DC suitable for powering our electronic devices. So we should be able to see that on the meter when I turn the handle. So our little hand crank generator which we described can generate DC voltage to power a radio or even charge a mobile phone. But to be honest with you, you might be there for quite a long time turning the handle to charge a mobile phone. So instead, perhaps you could have some clockwork mechanism where you just simply turn a key 
wind up the clockwork mechanism and then the, let that unwind to power the hand crank generator. You could do that or you could use a windmill. This is a Savonius windmill and it's collect, uh, connected to a hand crank generator. And when the wind hits it, it turns the turbines and will generate electricity for us. So our little hand crank generator that we described here could be used for a whole range of interesting projects to generate electricity.